due to the length of this video, we decided to cut it into two parts. Part one will be the cutting, assembly, and general preparation of the rack. Part two, the staining, final trim finishes and applications, and the presentation of the final DIY project. Hope you enjoy. Before we get started with this project, here are our list of materials that we're going to use in constructing this shoe rack. Our first project of the year, a Lazy Susan shoe rack. We went to the hardware store and bought four 40 by 24 birch plywood panels that we're going to cut into 24 by 24 inch squares. And those squares, those 24 inch squares, we're going to make circles out of them, roughly 23 and three quarters inch diameter to 24 inches with a jig we made on the previous project. And this is gonna be approximately 24 inches diameter by roughly 48 inches tall. So let's get started. Let's cut some wood and make some sawdust.
let's summarize. We start off with a router using a circular router jig and a pin, 5 16 inch, probably about two inches long, fit in the center. We took uh, 24 by 48 plywood uh, birch finish stock, cut that down to roughly 23 inch diameters for our shells. We need a total of one, two, three, four, five, six shells. So now we got to start off with our base and build up from that point on. The drill we used was actually a 5 16 as well. This allowed us to take our jig, push our pan through, set it, and rotate it as necessary. We started off with a cheaper, smaller router. We thought that would do, but we ended up having to abandon that because it just didn't have enough oomph. We went to a larger router, which had more horsepower and did not bog down in cutting three, four inch plywood. Make sure you use something strong enough instead of something weak. You save yourself some time. Now the next step is to sand the edges and do a little bit of clean up circular shells.
if you like this channel please hit the subscribe button but we would appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll try to keep them coming thank you have a good day